shake your booties for black girl nerds. Uh, Giandra LaBeouf, Black Girl Nerds. Thank you so much for your time today, Lena and Elle. I enjoyed the project. Women's Black Women's Hair is a thriller. This film is a thriller. Our hair is a thriller. And it's always been the topic of conversation from the beginning until now. For your character, Elle, for Anna, she has to transform herself in order to achieve certain things, sometimes to her detriment, as we find out during the story. What was it like portraying this character and how did it make you think about your own journeys and navigating through Hollywood with your own hair? It was incredible, honestly. And because I have so many relatable stories and I've had that journey within myself, I mean, maybe not to the full extreme, I related to her and I empathized with that character. And I just brought some of my own trauma to the screen. And um, But I really tried to ground it and make it as real as possible because like you said, this is a real nightmare for so many of us, but that dialogue is changing and we're learning our hair and we're loving our hair. And I think that we'll see Anna go on a similar journey. That's awesome. Yeah. Lena, I always enjoy you. You always bring that needed comic relief. I love how you <laughs> embrace the throwback things. And you've done your own hair journey in recent years where you went from locks to shorter hair. You still look um, incredible. What was it like for uh, stepping into this role for you and uh, shining a light on a topic in a different way that sometimes people feel uncomfortable discussing? Um, it really took me back, you know. Um, I used to have like braids like Brooklyn in the movie as a kid that my cousin, my older cousin did, which is like the blackest sentence I could say right now. Um, you know, I just, it was very um, communal. It was very uh, familial. There was something very, you know, there was like a, you know, there was this routine. And, and that's why I think it, it was so, so connected to my family, my community, other black women, like it was always black women or queer black men doing my hair. And so it was, it was just really this ritualistic thing. And I think, and I think Justin really captures that in the movie from when you're little kids to when you're an adult and that whole journey to like go to the salon or go to your bathroom or go to your kitchen. You know, we can talk to think about black people, we can turn any place into a hair salon. <laughs> I've been in <laughs> somebody's basement, you know, with a chair, you know, <laughs> like that's the thing, I used to go into like people's houses to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think to me, it's very personal, this hair journey. And I think it still is. And, and I think I am, I don't see myself growing my hair out. I believe this is how I wear my hair until the end of my life. And I think that, um, that 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 that's that speaks so much to my life and and me not necessarily thinking about that part of me anymore but also still honoring it like doing waves sometimes coloring it doing the design because for black people it's a way to express ourselves absolutely yeah. what do you want them l what do you want them not to mistake about this film and what is trying to be communicated about black people black hair and some of the things that we go through in our day-to-day -day lives you know, I don't want people to take this as Justin saying we shouldn't get weaves, we shouldn't explore our hair. That's not what he's saying at all. I mean, it's it's a story, an important story, an important dialogue wrapped in a horror tale. This is about a journey. This is about changing beauty standards, and it's about changing the narrative around how we define ourselves, and therefore we get to force others to define us in the way we choose. So I think people have to look past the, the quick offense of seeing a hair whore and thinking somehow it's a judgment on them because don't get me wrong, I will definitely have another weave, I will. I mean, I got this right now. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate your time greatly and both of you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, you, you too. too. Thank, Thank you. you.